The floodlights are beaming down on the players here at Stamford Bridge in West London. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary. And alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Chelsea up against Aston Villa. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And here's the starting 11 for Aston Villa. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Esri Konza starts alongside Clément Langlais in central defence. Boubacar Camara starts with Yuri Tielemans in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Thanks for Stamford Bridge. Enjoy the game. And the match is underway. Longley. Boubacar Camara. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. An unforced error, you've got to say. Boubacar Camara. Here's Tielemans. Well, it's a team full of stars, and you never quite know who is going to pop up and shine. Perhaps, Stuart, it'll be Raheem Sterling today. Well, he's a good all-round player. When he's closing the ball down, he does it at pace. When he's linking up the play, he's good at that. But his real attribute and his threat is when he runs in behind defenders. That's when he's at his most dangerous. Sterling. Sterling. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. But I don't think the keeper should be beaten in his near post quite so easily. I thought that was stoppable. So the game has restarted and Chelsea are the team with the lead. John McGinn. Here's Tielemans. And can they prize them open now? He could pick out a teammate. Well, thumped clear. Tielemans. Going well. Big chance. Excellent block by Thiago Silva. That's a lovely ball. And Sterling has it. And space to cross it. Oh, managing to beat him. That's gone out, and it is going to be a goal kick. A very good tackle. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. He must finish, and Chelsea have done it. It's 
going to be so difficult to stop them now. Well, here it is again. It was a good finish, but the keeper has to do better at his near post. He was beaten far too easily on that occasion. 2-0 now, and back underway. Well, the fans are certainly having their say. Just listen to them. They thought that was a penalty. Longley. Tielemans. What can they do from here? McGinn. It's with Camara. John McGinn. Crossing opportunity. Zaniolo. From a long way out. And the referee's verdict is penalty kick. This to pull one back. And the keeper denies them from the spot. Can someone get on the end of this? Denied by the bar. Back in play here. Chambers. Well, I have to say, I thought that looked to be going in. It was such a good effort. Well, they can't dwell on not getting the rub of the green. Perhaps they can create another chance now. And danger still. Just cleared away in the nick of time. Mikhailo Mudrik. Well, the supporters think it's on. Takes the shot. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Yeah. Going short. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. And tremendous individual skill. That's a good looking ball. So, following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. And there's the delivery. It hasn't come to very much. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Zaniolo. Crossing possibilities. Bailey. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Well, a brilliantly executed free kick. So near, Stuart. Well, he'll have practiced that time and time again. It's a fantastic bit of technique, but he just can't get it down in time. Well, it's been quite clear that Chelsea have been second best in terms of possession, but when they have had it... Oh, been... hang on, Stuart. Big chance here. Oh, good defending. Clattered out of there. Well worth, I think, at this stage, going back to the chance from earlier. Let's see about the delivery. Chelsea will get the throw in. And space for him to cut in. And getting across to stop it.
Not a short corner here. Poor pass. And Sterling has it. Is it going to be Raheem Sterling? Oh, good work by the keeper. And taken short. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. And so the first half draws to a close here in West London. Well, truth be told, he's only had a very limited influence on this game, Stuart. Yeah, he's been well marshalled so far, but he hasn't worked the defenders or the goalkeeper hard enough. He's got to impose himself on this game, otherwise they're going to struggle to get back into this. Well, away they go again, and it was an eye-catching display by Chelsea in the first half of this match. Outdoing his opponent. In position. And a goal! What a magnificent display! It's such a one-sided contest here. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. Well, the ball is moving again, and Chelsea are quite simply running away with this. McGinn. McGinn. Shot attempted, but it wasn't a taxing save. And Chelsea get the decision from the referee. No yellow card, instead a firm warning from the official. Nicolo Zaniolo. McGinn. On to Dean. The inside route looking promising. Zaniolo. Well, decent save there. Substitution time it is here. Corner kick played in. Well, it has come to nothing. Dinia. It's a corner. And a headed goal it is. Right on cue. So back underway at 3 1. Di Sassi. Sterling has it. Bailey. So a half an hour remaining. Well, that'll be a free kick. To the owner of the blue vehicle, registration BG04. Tielemans. Well, he didn't catch it badly, but certainly questions to be asked about the lack of accuracy there.
an example of how to press a really committed challenge and it's gone out for a throw in well they've been getting two substitutes warmed up and both will come on here Enzo Fernandez. Fernandez. Mudrik. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no. It should be! Missing the target by a tiny margin. Well, it's a difficult skill to get right, but he almost pulled it off there. He made such good contact with the ball. Douglas Luiz. And now this is Longley. Tielemans. Esri Consa. Well, the attack looks promising. Tielemans. Diaby. Can he get one back? of time still remaining this game is very much back on well here you can see it again good run great strength and a composed finish under pressure that's a top class goal well the game has been restarted 3-2 here well we have 20 minutes left in this game wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up Free kick to Chelsea. Ollie Watkins. On to Diaby. Luca Dean. Delivered into the area here. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Dean yet. Diaby, big chance to get them on terms. Oh, it's unbelievable. Who saw this coming when there were three goals down? Well, as you can see, this was always coming. They've been piling on the pressure. It's a well-deserved goal. Underway again. We can't complain about a lack of entertainment. 3-3. Well, this is such a good watch. Both teams have played their part in a great game with plenty of good forward play. I'm sure we'll see more goals before the end. Very open, isn't it? An absolute joy to watch. Very quick thinking there. Bailey. Here's Matty Cash. Well, the atmosphere is so tense inside the bridge, but can Chelsea find that moment of magic to win this game? The crowd certainly thinks so. Just listen to them. Can he find the right pass? Progress made by Chelsea, and at this late stage, a goal could be decisive. They're not giving him any breathing room. Diaby Zaniolo difficult to stop him and still dangerous and he takes on the shot and calling upon the goalkeeper to keep things even well he's got to be pleased with that he might just have got his team a draw here delivering it Take your breath away. A comeback and a half.
Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Jackson. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Well, wait, don't go anywhere. We're going to have five additional minutes. Well, possibilities in the centre. The Chelsea move still flowing. Advantage to them. Well, it's going to be a great finish here. These Chelsea fans are ramping up the noise now. They're surely going to get another chance before the end. A real opening now. Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. Zaniolo. Tremendous ball played through. He's managed to get in behind. And there it is, a penalty given and a chance perhaps for them to finish this off. And the goalkeeper sees yellow for his intervention on that occasion. And this could finish it off. Post. And they survived the attack. So the final whistle and plenty of positives for Villa fans around the world following this victory. What did you make of it? Yes, Derek. Well, it could have gone either way, couldn't it? It was so competitive for much of the game, but they kept pushing, kept believing, and probably deserved the winner in the end. A great result. His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, that was a top-class display, wasn't it? He did everything right. He inspired them to victory here today. Sterling. Can they forge ahead?